Well, I, I need you to put me on that guest list for the next event, all right, so I can come in and see how you put all those pieces together and watch the magic happen. <laughs> yeah, my pleasure, Chad. I, it would be my pleasure. <laughs> Hi, this is Ted Kelly with another Ted's Hospitality Minute. Hey, today we've got an awesome, awesome guest on. His name is Ira Levine. He is a sports and entertainment executive with the LSM Group. He's going to come on and talk a little bit about their business and how hospitality is a huge, huge part of it. Hey, Ira, how are you? Hey, Ted. Uh, I'm doing great. Thanks so much for having me on today. Hey, man, thank you for giving us a few minutes, man. I am really interested in learning and hearing more about the sports and entertainment side of hospitality. You know, most times our uh, focus is in the hotel space itself, but today we kind of, we divert a little bit, right? We shift and we get to learn a little bit about how hospitality actually is a part of your world and some of the components of it. So before we do that, I always like to give folks a little bit of background on our guests so they can kind of talk a little bit about themselves and kind of how they got into the hospitality space. Would you do that for us? Yes, uh, absolutely. And that's, that's, a, that's a great question, Ted. Uh, my background originally is in accounting and finance. So I went to college for. Uh, out of college, I worked for an accounting firm for six months. Um, immediately, I knew it wasn't a career for me specifically because I'm more people oriented. Uh, I like to speak to people, interact instead of behind of a desk and crunching numbers. So I took a job on Wall Street as a stockbroker uh, for seven years. Did very well, loved it, but I wanted to dive into my true passion, which is sports. I'm a former athlete. So I literally looked in the Wall Street Journal, saw an ad that said, can you sell the Super Bowl? I said, sure, let me, let me apply. I did. Long story short, I received a job. I learned from that company, the industry, and started my own sports marketing, corporate hospitality, so to speak, firm back in 1997. And here I am now sitting here chatting with you. <laughs> well, that's, that's, a, that's an interesting trek because one of the things that we found out from many, many of our guests is that they don't always start out in hospitality, but, but, but by some strange turn of events, right? They end up in a hospitality position and they, they really love it or they really hate it, right? And most of these guys come on, they really love it as a result of ending up there. But talk a little bit about your business and what it does and kind of how it, how it works in the hospitality world. Sure. Um, basically we provide corporate hospitality to the major corporations at the world-class sporting events, the Masters, the Super Bowl, the Kentucky Derby, uh, the Olympics, uh, NBA Finals, World Series, et cetera, et cetera. And we combined high-end corporate hospitality in conjunction with the sporting event, and we promote it as a business tool for corporations to promote to their clients, their end users, uh, sweepstakes, however they see fit, and we provide that to them as a business tool. Wow. So I know you made it sound probably a lot simpler than it is just then, but talk a little bit about the master's event, for example, right? How much planning did you put into that and how long did you have to plan for that event before it actually happened? Sure. Well, the, the master's, is, as everyone knows, it's, it's, a, it's a week long event. The practice rounds are, are just as important as the championship rounds as a patron. Um, because you can take your camera on the course the Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. We actually start planning for the Masters 50 weeks, almost a full year before the event takes place, getting everything in line, the housing, the chefs, the food orders, uh, most importantly, the badges to get them into the tournament. So it takes almost a full year of planning to actually execute one week for the event. So as you can imagine, is a lot of work involved just to make sure everything goes seamless for those seven days. Yeah, I, and I got to think you got you got one shot, right? <laughs> you got one that's, shot. <laughs> that, that's it. That's it. It's 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 a full count, bases loaded, bottom of the ninth. Uh, the pitch is down the middle. 
either I have to put it in play and we win, or if I swing and miss, I lose. <laughs> it's that right. Simple. Yeah, because so, a lot of these, a lot of these corporations, right, are planning these events around clients and clientele, and obviously the the lure is that they're trying to either gain business with these potential clients or they're trying to increase the, the business that they have and make sure that it's a pleasing experience for their clients and they want to talk more about things that they can do in the future so it, it really is a kind of a, a mind cracking kind of make sure everything's going the right way for the client because there's a lot riding on it for them right Oh, that's correct. Uh, these are these are their number one clients, or as you said, their potential clients to either gain more business or to get their foot in the door. So it has to be seamless. My job is to make sure that their time is spent focusing on furthering their relationship with their client. So again, the hospitality end comes in behind it with the whining and dining, so to speak, and all culminates with, with the sporting event for the experience all surrounded by this corporate hospitality at the major sporting event priceless right awesome hey Eric, give me a second let me get let me give a word from my sponsor otherwise they won't be sponsoring us right and i won't be able to talk to you and other guys this episode of the thm is being sponsored by recovered if you've experienced a home fire tornado or other natural disaster you know how easy it is to lose everything overnight well, the Recover is a new app that allows you to record everything in your home stored in the clouds for easy retrieval should disaster strike. This app saves you time from trying to recall all of your household valuables, heirlooms, special, special antiques, etc., and allows you to settle your claim a lot faster with your insurance company. Check out the Recover it app today. There's a 50% off promo code on the screen. If you click on that, You'll be well on your way to protecting yourself for future disasters. And as always, we like to remind our audience, please like us here on LinkedIn, subscribe to our YouTube channel. This episode with I will also be on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. And we always, always, always appreciate your feedback on every episode. So Ira, let me ask this question. What's been your most challenging event? You know how we always plan things to the hilt and then you get there and you're ready to kick it off and you think everything is going to go perfect and you find out that, oh, this is not there. That's not there. You know, what's been your most challenging event? When was it? Where was it? And what was going on? Well, there's been a lot of challenges um, and luckily enough, all of those have been behind the scenes, uh, the back end of the house, if you will, Ted. Um, and, and we re resolved all of them. Uh, but the most challenging one had to be in Augusta for the Masters, as we spoke about it previously. Um, for the first time in, I believe, over 30 plus years, they actually closed the entrance gates due to the heavy downpours and rain. Usually they will stop play. Patrons are allowed on the course. They can walk the course. They can go into the merchandise shop, which everyone wants to go to. But that day, they closed the gates. I had 350 clients in my hospitality facility with nowhere to go. They think they're going to the masters that day. So uh, thinking out of the box, we had a scramble. I had um, my wait staff run to Kmart, to Walmart, buy every possible dice game, card game, Monopoly game, everything possible that we can. And we turned it almost into a, 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 a fun day of just collaborating, having cocktails and everyone intermingling. And the day turned out to be a success, which I thought was going to be a total disaster. Yeah. Wow. And that, then that's great. What do you call it? Uh, impromptu thinking on your team's part, because again, like you said, behind the scenes, it's like it's raining, it's storming, it's a cloud. And I don't mean necessarily because of the weather. I mean, physically, in your mind, it's, <laughs> it's raining, it's storming, right? But out here with your client, you got to make it all sunshine and they're on the beach and everything's wonderful. So that's some pretty fast thinking on your part uh, to be able to create that scenario for it. <laughs>
Yes, co correct. And and the F and B bill that day, as as you can imagine, Ted, uh, was the highest it's ever been because people were consuming alcohol, as is rightly so, and and eating the high end food. Uh, we fly in our chef from Tribeca Grill, Robert De Niro's restaurant. So, needless to say, he was super busy that day as well. Right, right. That that is so interesting because it happened. It's it it never fails. It seems like in a hospitality or even in our business, in the project management world where you're trying to manage renovations or trying to manage, you know, major uh, maintenance projects, it never fails that something gets kind of out of whack. And all of the planning that you've done all of a sudden looks like you did zero because one event is making it look like, oh, nothing was nothing's working right, <laughs> you know. So, so it's it's really uh it's really interesting. Let me let me ask you this question: Are you planning any major events coming up? What's what's next on your agenda? I mean, the Masters is is worldwide. That's phenomenal. Uh, I wish I could have participated and seen how you put the pieces together because, man, it sounds like it's a really uh it's a masterpiece the way you make the pieces happen. But what, what's next on your agenda on your calendar? Yeah, sure. I mean, for the masters, uh, we do a lot more. So we we do product launches, we do client entertainment, um, we do sweepstakes. But the next on the radar screen is the Kentucky Derby, uh, which is May the fourth. Uh, we're affiliated with Churchill Downs, um, and so we provide packages to that event as well. And then calendar year would be the U.S. Open golf. Uh, it would be the Open overseas in in Europe. Then the U.S. Open tennis. Um, and then we do uh, the World Series, the NBA Finals, the Olympics, basically all the major sporting events. Again, this is the key component to utilizing it as a business tool. Most people don't or would not do this on their own. And combining it with the high-end corporate hospitality makes it an experience unlike any other. So the, so the value is there and the time you spend with your invited guest clearly is is what you're trying to uh, to gain out of this as a business tool you're right and i think the experience uh is that that client will remember that event for the rest of their lives right so you you'll be old and playing golf on a golf course somewhere and they'll say man you remember we went to the masters and we did this and we did that and it'd be like you know you, you <laughs> it, those are those are life-changing uh moments memories that people have from doing events like that correct that's correct. And, and that's our forte to to create that experience uh, for you and your guests. Um, you go back, you have a picture uh, of you at, at the Masters on the credenza. You have people coming in, walking in out of your office. It, it's it's a topic of conversation immediately that you mentioned, Ted, and, and it lasts a lifetime. Um, so the experiences is something that we truly believe in providing. Well, I, I need you to put me on that guest list for the next event, all right, so I can come in and see how you put all those pieces together and watch the magic happen. <laughs> yeah, my pleasure, Ted. I, it would be my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ira, hey, thank you so much for giving us some of your time today. Hey, let me give you a quick word from my sponsor. This THM View is this episode is being sponsored by Recovery. If you've experienced a home fire, tornado, or other natural disaster, you know how easy it is to lose everything overnight. Well, Recover It is an app that allows you to record everything in your home, store it in the clouds for easy retrieval should disaster strike. This app saves you time from trying to recall all of your household valuables, juries, etc., and allows you to settle your claims with your insurance companies a lot faster. Check out the Recover It app today. Use the promo code on screen to get 50% off. And as always, we like to remind our viewers, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us here on LinkedIn, and this episode with Ira will be on Apple Podcasts and Spotify, and we always appreciate your feedback and comment. So Ira, tell me a little bit about this Kentucky Derby event that you've got coming up. What's that schedule going to be like? What are you, what are you planning for your, for your guests that's going to be attending the, uh, the Derby that weekend? Um, we have a group of 50 people. Uh, they're going to be coming in on Thursday, uh, May the 2nd. They fly into Louisville and we'll have a private dinner set up for them upon arrival. We'll pro provide all their transportation to and from. 
as well as housing. Uh, Friday morning, we have a tour set up at the Louisville Slugger Museum for the whole group. So they'll get the tour of the museum, how they make the bats, and then they get a personalized bat with their signature on the bat as a memento. So a great keepsake for the guests. That evening, we're going to have a private dinner in a well-known bourbon bar in downtown Louisville. And we're going to bring in a professional handicapper from Churchill Downs. He is actually going to teach the group, which most of them do not know how to bet correctly uh, on horse racing, in layman's terms, uh, exacta, exactly what that means, trifectas, triples, and so much, and break down how to bet professional horse racing for the group. Saturday, they go to the Derby. Uh, they have the full day at the track. They have obviously the mint juleps, the bedding, the, the fine hats, the dress to the nines. And then we culminate with a private dinner or top of a, of a revolving restaurant, uh, the culminate the, the weekend. So that would, would involve the entire weekend for the derby. Right. So you got like a three day, four, four day experience of the derby. You've gotten some tours. You've gotten some nice dinners. You even learned how to bet. While you were there, I could probably take. I need that class too uh, <laughs> to learn how to learn how to bet, and all done with the highest level of hospitality. That's correct. All five star VIP, uh, no stones unturned. Correct. So to make it again, it's all about the overall experience and, and providing that for the invited guests. Man, that is awesome. All right, I want to switch gears. I know now about the upcoming event and. How, how wonderful that sounds. Talk to me a little bit about an event that didn't necessarily go the way you had it planned, right? You were talking, I think, a little bit about the Super Bowl in Miami. T tell our audience a little bit about what happened there as, a, as a, uh, an example of what can go wrong. <laughs> yeah, again, another great question, Ted. Uh, the intangibles, um, which is the weather at, at all these events. Uh, Super Bowls in Miami. Uh, the halftime show is Prince. Everyone knows he's going to open up with Purple Rain. Uh, and in the first time in 52 years, it poured in Miami. Oh, my Lord. It poured and it was a huge stumbling block. So we got our clients to get into a corporate suite to avoid the rain, um, which worked out great. But again, another intangible that you literally have to work on a fly to make sure these experiences are the best they possibly can be. Yeah. So you got to have a plan B and a C. <laughs> yeah, well, that's correct. A capital B and capital C, no less. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I have I have been there and I know how hard it can be to plan out those situations, but it's amazing how how things can take a uh, a sequence of bad turns and all of a sudden you find yourself like, wait a minute, how did we get here? You know? So mm -hmm. kudos to you for planning even to the nth detail. Should things not happen the way you want them? I think that's a, that's a testament for you and your planning for that event because the Super Bowl is such a big deal. You know, to mess it up is a big deal if you mess it up, you know? That's correct. It, it's, it's not an option and we make sure it, it goes seamlessly. You know, cause I really, sometimes think that the hospitality thing is just centered to the hotel space, but really what you're doing, you know, you're, you're at a whole nother level of hospitality. You know, your hospitality is a very short one day, two day, three day window. And you're planning it, you know, years in advance to make sure that everything goes off without a hitch. So you've got, you know, and it's all about keeping a smile on your face, which all the hotel people have to do that, right? We're in the, we're in the hospitality space. So, so for you to put something together like that and make it come off without a hitch and the clients have a lifelong experiences, man, I think that's wonderful. Yeah. Well, well thank you. I mean, as you know, the, the trend is, is changing and it's changing quickly. Um, you want to create again, to use that word, an experience for them. Um, and if you can provide that, that's, that's a memory that lasts a, a lifetime. So that's, that's what we're all about. I think, I think the next time I'm getting into the hotel space to try to think of ways to do something unique and different, 
like in a renovation, I'm going to call you and say, hey, Ira, what can we do different in here to make this a memorable experience? Or I guess when they come in, they'll remember it for the rest of their lives. <laughs> Oh, absolutely. First impression is always always the most lasting. So it's it's key. It's an important. So you're going to see a lot of of the major uh, teams, the major governing bodies. They're going to start following suit and providing experiences at at the game, not just a ticket to watch the game. Um, so you'll see that coming up pretty quickly in, in in my space as well. Yeah. Well, let me ask this question: If folks are trying to plan an event and they need somebody like yourself to help them put it together. How did they find you, you know? Yes, sir. Uh, it's pretty simple. Um, my website is lsmgp.com. My phone number is 914-720-4661. Um, you can find my email on my website or you can call me, text me direct. Uh, I'd be happy and would love to, to work and to collaborate with anyone that has an interest and leaning on my contacts and and my knowledge in the sports hospitality industry. Yeah. Now, it's, it's, it sounds like if you need an idea or you need some help, Ira is the guy to call. <laughs> Thank you, Ted. I appreciate that. I, I sure hope so. I like to think that. <laughs> Ira, thanks again for the time today. This has been another Ted's Hospitality Minute. Folks, thanks so much for joining us, and we will see you next time. Have a great week. Ted's Hospitality Minute is sponsored by Recover It. Don't wait for disaster to happen to wish you had done this.